I'll be reacting to Eden Zero Episode 5, and I will be starting my reaction in 1 0 Go! Oh, I'm pumped up for this. And you know, that's what I love about Shiki. He ain't gonna back down from some payback. Good. Hmm. Hey, you know, there's at least a plus side to that. Because that means at the very least, and taking Pino back with them, it should at the very least. Oh, I mean, that's a good point. Plus, in them taking back Pino, at the very least, it should be a lot more doable at the very least, and it'll be ethical. Help the only thing the guy takes is an ass whooping in the mouth. And also all of his other body parts too for good measure. I mean, Seber has a man that's been full of surprises ever since they first introduced him. Okay, that's convenient. I mean, she's talking to way more than just normal kids at this point, though. What? <laughs> no, they should not be fucking around. I mean, they have tech from 50 years in the future, though. Yeah. That's a good plan, though. I mean, they've got an edge. And plus, Rebecca has guns that are, what, 50 years in the future, too, so that should at the very least give him an advantage. Oh, no, I have to move it. Ah. It always gives me some good Veal vibes. As yes, sir, in the opening, when our boys, um, when it shows up our boy, at least, I me, mean, I think he looks fucking cool. Yeah, no. Speaking of which, I do hope though that at the very least in this series, hope there comes a day where we get to see Shiki really used to like the subtle nuances of living in society. Although, don't get me wrong, I love seeing like Shiki, um, this whole fish out of water character arc, it's actually really engaging to see. But, I do hope eventually there comes a day where we see him really adapted to the environment that he's in. I think that'd be pretty darn badass character for action, if you ask me. But speaking of which, man, I'm have to see what's gonna happen next. Although mostly it's because I wanna see that Seaber bastard it's ravaged though. Cause what that fucker did to Pino. That should be complete that's un completely unforgettable from my perspective at the very least. Oh boy. Oh! Oh no no no! Ugh. Hey, I'm not gonna blame him for like starting to get a bit enraged, you know? Cause that's this the connected as he wants to be from this type of stuff. I don't think anyone would be able to be emotionally disconnected in this. No oh no 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 no! Oh, fuck. Yes! Oh, 
Aww. Honestly, with an organization like this, they refer, they deserve to have every single member in that group betray them. I'm just saying. I mean, hey, voice has the perspective. Oh, okay, good, good. Yo, I love the slow mo when, like, you see that glass break. Hello, good. Oh man, Super's about to see the power. Of Knock him up, power. Whenever you piss off. A main character who lives a oh, breathes of the power of friendship. Ho <laughs> ho This is gonna be fun! Sound like a cannonball going off like that. Tush, tush. Hopefully, I'm the one to play all those potential medical bills. Huh? <laughs> okay, now it's too not gonna be kidnapped. See, Bear really thinks it's gonna work. Oh! But that's not gonna work against Shiki, though. I mean, at least I would assume his gear would prevent him from taking major damage from that. I mean, that's my assumption. I mean, no, there's no way he's dead, but Rekka should be able to fend for herself, though. I understand she's worried about Shiki, but she has to worry about her own skin, at least in this small bit. I mean, from that distance, that should give her ho hopefully enough time to pull out her guns? They look like absolute jokes, though, I... Talk about absolutely cheesy as hell, though. I like how there's such a uh, non threats that she's not even paying attention to, like, the opposition right in front of her. Let's make it a dorm! Axe kicking. Alright, I gotta make that's a nice little pun there. She needs to stop thinking about Sabir. And her sentence in her programming and all that because her memories have been adjusted. Aww. Oh, that's gonna set a good art for Pino where she's gonna have to realize eventually that she has to do certain things for herself. She can't be doing things just for the sake of other people. If not, her life's gonna be a bit hollow. And she's always follows the will of other people. Yeah, nothing wrong having a sense of duty, but there is something wrong in looking at the it's and other people to the point that, oh. What else gonna remind him of Grand Bell? Aww. I like that scene where you still see the events of this first episode are still majorly affecting them.
Even if that is Michael, he can't risk taking it with them. It would majorly affect the past. Ah. Oh. Damn, I mean, I had a feeling I've been too good to be true if it was Michael. Well, yeah, I mean, it did look like Michael, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, for all these, anything could have been his Michael. Or they could have not been his Michael. I mean, Shiki's not gonna have a luxury of time to figure out the origins of Michael in this scenario. The only thing you can really focus on is. Oh. Well, these are older models. That's probably why. Aww. She goes such a cute little child. Aww. Oh, yeah, I remember that scene was fucking hardcore. I mean, hey, that's what matters the most, you know? At least the spots knowing that. Oh! Talk about Shiver having a lack of respect for the machines. Aww. Hey, at least he met one that's a genuinely good person. I mean, there, I mean, she's gonna realize that you can't really repair every single scenario. One thing you can do is just try to repair, try to repair the scenarios that are in front of them, just hope that things turn out well. But, no one's like that. I mean, it's just impossible. Once things are the end, sometimes it's just straight up the end. I do love it about the series, though, where it's all ballsy sometimes. Oh! Yo, that makes it look really amazing there. I mean, if it's like from the past, then I'm shocked of that. Rebecca shocked. I like that. Wow! <laughs> Talk about fan service coming to the rescue. Okay, I guess we're talking about men of culture here. I mean, they're about to awaken a oh, beast. <laughs> they're going to regret saying that. Oh, shit. This doesn't look like a knockoff, but that looks like an anger rage boost. You know, I kind of feel sorry for these fodder. I really do. If it was Zebra, I wouldn't feel sorry for that fucker one bit, but oh, Can I like that Mongol like style when he kicks both of them simultaneously too? <laughs> it's over the top, I love it. Oh! 
Okay, you know shit's serious when he doesn't even take Rebecca with him. I like how the animation's so freaking fluid when they're just all leg obsessed. You know, let's say, shut your shop, but not in that instance. That's a good tank, but I don't think it worked though. Because that's the beer operating that machine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You all love, again, like the smears when you see happy moon. Yo, wait, did he just kill some beer? Oh, yeah, all right, we didn't even know. Oh, fuck, that was a beer to kill the man, but hey. I guess an ass whooping would be nice to see too. Well, hopefully this is the last one and it will make him super angry because I hope Shiki puts this fuck behind bars. <laughs> yes! Look, this beer's gonna go down like the bitch he is! Or not. Huh? I mean, she, oh man. I mean, Sheik is a strong boy though. I think it'll take more than one hit to kick his ass. Oh. I hope there at least a penal considers changing her loyalties instantaneously. Ow. Cause Pino deserves better. Oh, <laughs> I'll be shocked if Sabir survives that. Okay, is it? I wouldn't be surprised if he died. If he survives this, he's not human. He ain't human. If he survives this shit. Okay, it'll be either that or Shiki holding back. Yo, I'm surprised that dude's still alive. Oh shit, I didn't think that bird would have to kill the insect inside of it. Alright, um... I think this might be a chance for Pino to get some self-care character development because if she's going to want to step it up, she might need to do it now and utilize the EMP. Oh, yes! And they built up to this moment, too. But the scary was that she was going to use the EMP was when Shiki said that robots are living beings, too. Well, I'm paraphrasing. I mean, hey, for Shiki, will just be a few bruises. He'll survive that. At least I hope. Ho 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 ho! Hey, you know, if Waze pulls the trigger, I wouldn't blame him one bit. I'd actually congratulate him. Wait, is he gonna find an old fashioned weapon to shoot the man? Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought for a second he was gonna smash the guy's skull in.
He'll be back in a few seconds. The MP, they did mention a... Yeah, it mentioned that it only works for a few seconds. Aww. Yeah, but she can recover pretty damn fucking quickly. That sounds creepy! <laughs> well, probably could. Well, yeah. And plus, Shiki's super durable. I mean, it's Pino that. Aww. I get to why he would ask more about Pino's safety, considering that Pino's gone through a lot of psychological stress. So, Terra Boy, he did it in a gentleman way, you know? Like the badass he is. You know, I love the track that's playing in the background, like the Huh. Alright, this episode was freaking good, okay. Hey, looking at the ED, it looks like Pino gets her legs back because I'm noticing the ED, she doesn't have the drill leg. It looks like, um... Two normal legs. So my guess is, our boy, it's either going to be Shiki or Weiss that's going to repair that leg. Out of the way, can't wait for that. I think our Pino deserves some happiness, so I welcome that. As for this episode, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 because, for one, had a badass action. We made a lot of plot progression. Seabear was finally taken down. Fuck that motherfucker. And we had an emotional moment, too, with... Shiki truly becoming friends with Pino, I thought that was beautiful. And seeing Pino grow into a badass by using her EMP abilities against Seabur, seeing her stand on her own two feet figuratively was really beautiful. And then seeing Shiki feel more sympathy for Johnny when he passed away was really sad too. And I loved that that moment was touching. That's why I thought the script was fantastic. Yes, the action was badass, but the moments of character growth were even more badass. Animation was beautiful. A tier animation. Artwork was gorgeous. Voice performances are great. And that's what I thought the episode was a 9.5 out of 10 caliber badass episode, if you ask me. Alright, let me see the PV. Oh, okay. Now, I actually thought there was going to be a preview for a second. <laughs> Silly me. But overall, though, I loved it. And yes. I'm definitely going to be reacting to episode number 6 whenever that releases. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts and how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. Now I'm testing to everyone. Bye-bye.